Knockout ratio. Arta Kashenko of the Ukraine makes his way to centre ring. And it is official, folks, if Kashenko wins here tonight, he will be the youngest K1 champion in history at 21 years old. He didn't turn 22 until November 14. Borkow was 22 when he won the championship. Krauss was 22. Peter Rose was 23. So Kashenko will be the youngest K1 champion of all time. Big God in centering here tonight, right? Um, yeah, I mean, when you think about how young this kid is, um, then you try to compare that to his talent and the amount of fights he's had. It's truly amazing. Truly, truly amazing. And, you know, I wish him all the best in there. Over the road, bounds the Ukrainian Artika Shinko. And back to my favorite ring announcer in K1, Maria Boma. <laughs> Well, that's right, and uh, you know, in that fight uh, with him and Sal, he was winning that fight until he couldn't stand anymore in the fifth round. But nevertheless, like you said, he didn't take that much punishment uh, to the legs, so he's fresh. He looks ready. Um, I think the key for Kashinga to winning tonight is going to have to stick and move, use his reach, and keep him out, keep him out. Right, we see a lot of swelling around the right eye of Masato. Do you think that's like waving a red curtain in front of a bull for Kishinko? Do you think you'll go after that right eye? Well, it's very possible. I mean, fortunately for Masato, it's not cut. And so therefore, I mean, it's very possible that it can swell up even more so and Kishinko can but have to use his knees, stick the jab, and try and take advantage of that. And what's interesting, we've just been given the medical report on Kishinko. There is a lot of damage around the bridge of Kishinko's nose, which won't be good given the way that Masato works by straight boxing combination. Well, that's right. And, you, you know, we've all seen and we know exactly what sort of uh, punching uh, power and punching combination he brings to the table. So, now, we're going to play four fighters. We're going to play four fighters. Please, please, please.
believe it is national anthem time here in Centurion. Bob, as expected, from the cellar crowd here at the Budokan in Tokyo for Masato and Artika Shinka. Two extra rounds, okay? No too much cringing or holding and keep a passive fight. Okay, check out. Third man in center in Nobuaki Kakura. Three by three minute rounds, two extra rounds in place of a draw. Three judges ringside yep. are scoring on a 10 point must system. This for the final of the K1 Max 2008. Yeah! Who will be crowned the champion? Yeah! Round number one, Michael Chevallo and Sugar Ray Seppo with your inside. Masato goes to the ribs. Kashinko sweeps out the support leg with a Muay Thai technique early. Yeah! Of leg kicks. Masato definitely can't afford to uh, make the same mistake um, in this fight. What he, what he did with the Sato fight. Uh, he threw out there, but he didn't bring his hands back quick enough uh, after a combination, so he's got to you know, keep everything tight. Don't forget, a year ago it was Masato who knocked out Kashenko in the semi finals of the K1 Max. By a lethal left hook, jab two there from Masato. Nice turning left hand from Masato. To the back leg of Kashenko. Kashenko's got to use his jab to keep Masato at bay. Outside thigh kick from Masato. You can see the speed of Masato. He takes a leg kick and a right hand. And 
a little bit of the danger that we spoke about earlier, Ray, of Masato dropping his guard. Right. Left hook outside, fly kick from Masato. Front kick to the midsection. Checks a low kick, does Masato. Cracks one back. Kishenko looked a little agile, a little limber there on the lead leg. Masato's got to keep that right hand up in combination, also when he's walking in. Because, believe it or not, Kishenko can't punch. These two men are throwing a lot of heavy salvos. I would not be surprised to see a knockout. Uppercut, high left round kick from Masato. Chad upends himself on top of that Amoeba logo in centering. Jackson outside, fire kick, gives one back to Masato. Nicely counted. Oh, he eats a little right hand on the inside. As Kishenko then goes downstairs to the lead leg. Under a minute remaining here in the first. Surprisingly, Masato is a little bit off balance in this one. I have to agree with you, Ray. Hasn't found his rhythm yet as he eats another left hook from Kishenko. Look at the combination work. High knee from Kishinko! Well, he tagged him to the jawline. There's a little shot from Masato. Body shot again from Masato. This is what we're Kishinko talking about. Answers. Right, this is what we're talking about. I mean, Kishinko's a good counterfighter also. And Masato's got to you know, be on his best defense right after his combinations. Kishinko walks into a jab. Right hand lead from Masato. Right hand again from Masato. Uppercut outside, fly kick from Masato. He's winning the end of the round here, Masato. Double jab outside, fly kick. I think Kashinko's leg is running. His front leg. Kashinko is breathing heavily through his mouth here. Walks into a front kick. Won't do his lungs any favors. And into the first round. And his nose is actually swollen. So, I mean, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that. It looks okay, but it looks like it's bleeding and also swollen. We will get the official judge's verdict in just a moment. Here's how it went down. Trade of left hooks, but it was Kishinko who drew the short straw. Masato at times, as Ray said, did look off balance, especially in the first two and a half minutes of the round, but the final 30 seconds was all Masato, and the judges have seen it that way. One judge giving it 10 points apiece, the other two judges giving it 10-9, 10-9 to Masato after one. Second round of three. First round to Masato. Yoshihiro Sato looking on ringside, wondering what could have been. I have a feeling Kashiko's front leg is hurting. So he's just the southpaw. Good call, cool Sugar Ray. Masato goes down! The big tip off! The big tip off! Exactly what we were talking about before. Masato, he can't! His eyes are blind! This place has gone bananas! Masato's been dropped in the second round! This is craziness! Masato's got to go to defense right now. There is still a long way to go in this round! And here right. comes Masato! The sugar finishes and he flows well. And he shows a beautiful uppercut, left hook. Masato's got to go to the defense right now, stick and move, give him some time to recover. Masato taking more knocks to the front door. Kashenko featuring the right cross. The uppercut went so high, I heard organs playing. Oh, Masato on rubber legs again. He is right for the picking. It is pandemonium here in Tokyo! But what hard by Masato. I mean, like, you know, he's still there. Still a danger. Koshenko has thrown the heavy artillery here in the second round. Right, left again for Koshenko, and Masato backs him up! Masato backs him up! Koshenko counters very well, so Masato can't afford to open up with Lokic and the Actually inside. Masato has been dropped. Oh, he gets tagged again with the left hand. He's dropping the right club. And yeah. Kashenko is timing the left hand beautifully. Takes a hard little shot, Kashenko. And now Kashenko's counting with the right also. Cross. And another cross from Kashenko. He covers up. Oh, the uppercut. He gets the cross again. 
Shinka with more crosses than the Vatican here what in the a, second round. What a fight. Uppercut from Masato. Kishinka has opened up. Oh, Kishinka is bleeding. His nose is busted. It's broken, but they rally on. This is unbelievable. This is what K1's all about. These men have given it their all! Big right hand from Masato! Kashingo's on to look at his corner. Can't doubt yourself now, Kashingo. You're winning this fight. 20 seconds remain. Second round of three. Two to two. What a walk! Masato still has a sense of mind to evade the high kick. Oh, the jab from Masato! Good work in that jab. End of the second round, one more to go! Sugar Ray, it's alive, it's happening in Tokyo! What a round, what a round. But that's exactly what we were talking about earlier. Masato can't afford to drop his hands after a combination because Koshinko not only can punch, but also he's out here to win. They, you know, I talked to his management earlier. I mean, now we're looking at the replay right here. Right hand down the middle, which hurt Masato, but he should have stepped around, but instead he stood there and got caught with a left hook. Can, then Kashiko can count it again with the right hand. Um, Rocky legs right off the left hook. Beautiful, beautiful counter left hook. Down goes Masato. Again, this is what we were talking about earlier, uh, Mike. You know, he can't afford to, or to think that it's over when, when Kashiko is there because Kashiko can't punch. He's very technically sound. He just beaten anti Sauer. So the guy, the kid is pumping. He's ready to win this fight. But, it's ready for the third round, and it's going to be a great, great final round. Okay, folks, the judges give you a 9-8 to Kishinko in the second round. Here we go, third and fourth. Big right hand from Masato. Masato is up and up strongly. And Kishinko ends his double left hook high right now, King. Going for the headache maker, the cranium dragger. Oh, left hook right hand. Masato! Masato's so got to keep that right hand up and keep that jab sharp. This is one of the greatest K1 makes fights we've ever seen! Kashinko's got to keep his jab out and keep Masato at bay. Step up knee from Kashinko. Up a gap from Masato. Kashinko drops the lead hand to the bread basket. Masato ripped to the rib game, then goes to the liver. Mike, I mean, Kevin Max is the best full contact event in the world, and this is the reason why. And we're witnessing live. There is no other fight organization that produces fights like these. Look at Masato come forward again and dig to the body. 16,000 sell out here in the Budokan, going absolutely wild. Front kick from Masato, outside fight kick from Kishinka. Masato, the boy front leg is hurting. I mean, here the both guys, they're letting everything hang out. Raya comes down to guts and intestinal fortitude. Oh. Who's got the will? Who's got the desire? Well, it's right, and you know, they both do. I mean, like, they've shown that tonight. They both do. Uh, you can tell the sugar's hurting. You can tell Masato's hurting, but they're still there. They're both got beautiful combinations. They're counting off each other. Shot uh, running a lot of beautiful scores. Oh, Masato catches him against the rope. One minute remaining. Up again from Masato. And everybody's on their feet right now. <laughs> Masato is swinging for the knockout off the uppercut. Kashinka, has he got anything left in the tank, the young Ukrainian? 45 seconds. Double jab right hand from the demigod. Up again from Masato. I've got Masato ahead in the final round so far. Oh, absolutely, I agree. Masato's got to keep that jab in his face. There's Shinko with the uppercut. His left leg is hurt. He worked with the jab, he worked with the jab. Jab outside, fire kick from Masato. He goes back to the old duty, the bread and butter combination. Drops the lead leg again. Final seconds now, and 
Yashinko throws into the canvas. I was just about to say, look for the final flow. That's all. It's over. It's what over. A what a fight. Sugar Ray, I am going final round to Masato. I totally agree. Uh, I mean, that was obvious. Uh, <laughs> Yashinko, I mean, fought like a champion. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Final round to Masato. I just want to say that after two rounds, one judge had it 19-18. The other two judges had it 18-18. This could be very, very close. We feel Masato has it in the final round. Would not be surprised, Ray, to maybe see an extension here. Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, as we can see, the corners are obviously preparing their fighters for that extension round. Unbelievable scenes here at the Buddha Khan. It is what K1 is all about. Three rounds of total non-stop action. Never a dull moment as Mrs. Masato is praying here ringside. An absolute war between two brilliant athletes. <laughs> First judge gives it 28, 28 a draw. Gonna be a draw. 28, 27 for Masato. One judge for Masato. 28. 28 a draw. Ray, we are on the money in the game, brother. One more round. Wow. All right, this is just incredible. I am going to need a couple of paddles and an oxygen mask after this one. If I go into cardiac arrest, brother, it's been great knowing you. Because <laughs> this fight will tip me over the edge, I'm telling you now. Don't worry, I'm going to get the doctors to stand by. Final round, extension round. Here we go. Three more minutes and Masato comes out, kicking for the liver. Big right hand from Masato. They are wasting no time. Masato locks him up. Chad checks a low kick, does Kashenka. He's got to protect that lead leg. Beautiful evasion from Masato getting under the left hook. That one was caught on the elbow. And it's funny, funny enough, here's Masato, it's the shorter guy that's laying in the jab. Jab outside, thigh kick, that bread and butter combination again for Masato. And kicks the inside leg. It is Masato winning the round in the early stages here. Here's the busier, here's landing more. What has Kashenko got? He switches to southpaw in an effort to protect the lead leg, the left leg. And Masato plowing forward, double forearm guard against the knee. Right hand, four short for Kashinka. Left hook from Masato, didn't have the start. Oh, body shot hurt him! The shot to the body hurt Kashinka. The Ukrainian on the back foot. I mean, oh, up the You just can't fight Masato's job. It's absolutely beautiful job. Masato tracks to the back leg. That left leg is badly damaged. Both men trade right hand. Masato digs to the body. Koshenko clips him with the hook. Knee to the liver. Masato's got to keep that left, their right hand up. Oh, and that's why Masato gets caught. They take a moment's breath. Trade of jab. Masato's going to be careful not to get caught in the way in here. Checks the low kick, that's Koshenko. Koshenko needs to work that jab for himself also. And Myself, right now, when he does that, close. Under a minute remaining in this epic fight. Oh, the head kick from Kashenko! And Masato pounds through the right hand, and again, Kashenko answers! Kashenko showing no respect! Kashenko's laying with the right hand at work because Masato's jab is not a stick at times. Body shot from Masato. Kashenko walks into Masato's trap. Turning left hook. Look at the bloody nose on Kashenko. Blood streaming down his face. And again, Masato tags him on that nose. Final 10 seconds. Masato bringing it home. He comes 
Oh, he comes forward. Chad, good evasion. It's all over. Oh. A standing oh. ovation here in the wow. foot of Masato Scott, I mean, he's just the greatest fighter on the planet right now. Ray, I've got to agree with you. Masato is God. God of the K1 Max. And in our eyes, he has taken this in the extension round. I am just lost for words, Ray. I mean, uh, we thought earlier tonight Masato and Yoshihiro Sato was an all-time classic. And Masato, after four grueling rounds earlier tonight, has come out for four more grueling rounds here in the final. What an amazing showdown. I mean, Masato just proved why he's so great. That's one. 10-9. For Masato. One more and he's got it. 10 9. He's done it! He's done it! He's done it! Masato is the champion of the world! Five years after he last won the crown, Masato, the K1 next champion of the world! Masato! I'm speechless, well of the sword. The guy came out here tonight. I mean, he got knocked out twice tonight and still came back and won the fight, he won the tournament. The champion. Oh my god, right, speechless. It is unbelievable. As I've said all night, you could not have scripted it in a Hollywood movie. Wherever you're watching this one, folks around the world, we know you had to be riveted to it as much as we are. Grown women, grown men, crying here at the Budokan. I'm looking around and everyone in tears, right? Uh, and everybody's on their feet, you know, even my sufferers in tears because he knows how hard he works for this. He knows that since the day he won the, the World Grand Prix, K1 Max, he wanted to win it again. He said, you know, he said he was going to win it tonight. He did it. Now he puts him right in the same spot as Kokao and Andy Sauer, but by saying that, I mean, this is going to be the greatest performance I've seen in a long, long, long time. Ray, I thought Bullock Cow's victory a couple of years ago was brilliant, but you're right. For me, Masato in 2008 takes the cake as the greatest K1 Max victory I've seen yet. Absolutely, no doubt. As you said, knockdown twice tonight, and they were good knockdowns. Solid knockdowns, no glancing shots that he just bounced back up from. Two solid knockdowns. He got back up, went the extension round in both fights and worked so hard. And the, the fact that he came back and he dominated the round after being knocked down is truly amazing. Uh, you know, I, it's sad. Um, I'm a huge fan of myself. We predicted it from the start of the year. Masato looks so focused this year. He spent the last 10 months saying, it's my year, I'm going to win it. It's my belt, I want it back. I want to do it for Japan. I want to do it for the fans. I want to do it for K1, he said, but most of all, he wanted to do it for himself. He has proven a point to himself more than anyone else on the planet here tonight. As Masato, as Mr. Tanakawa, the CEO of FEG K1, makes it all official in center end. What a moment for Masato right now. Folks, you are now seeing the strap placed around the waist of pound for pound, the best fighter of any fight code on the planet. I defy anyone, Ray, to oh. bring up a better pound-for-pound -pound fighter on the planet in any fight code at the moment than Masato. Uh, you and me both. But no, you know, not good. I mean, um, credits to, to everybody that fought tonight in terms of the tournament. I mean, the four fighters that made it to the finals, I mean, absolutely, is the best full contact fight, martial arts, or whatever it is in the world today. And Ray, you've got to say that at any time here tonight, all four fighters had a definite chance to win it. Sawa had his chances. Yoshihiro Sato definitely had his chances, as did Koshenko, especially when he knocked down Masato in the second round. Right, and again, I mean, like, 
the shingle standing there, I mean, you know, my heart goes up to him also because he fought like a dent warrior tonight. Um, he came, he brought it, uh, and, you know, it's what we talked about, um, and he almost caused the upset. But, I mean, this is going to make this kid even greater because he's going to come back. He knows he can mix it with the best of the best in the world, and he's going to come back stronger. The runners-up check there for Kashinko. The broken nose, you can see. He didn't have that lump at the start of the night. It has been badly broken in the sour fight and rebroken again by that man, Masato. Japan, once again, has a K-1 world champion. And we're about to hear from him. Yeah, あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
for Masato to be the victor. He has given Japan the dream they have all dreamt for the last five years since Masato last won the title. He has done it again here tonight and they will be celebrating throughout Japan for a long, long time to come. Folks, we hope you've enjoyed the action just as much as we have. Wherever you've been watching our broadcast, right around the world. Well, it has been an absolute soap opera. It's been drama. It's been tenacity. It's been great fights. It is everything that K1 is. My brother Ray, thank you, bro. Brother, it's been as a always, pleasure as a pleasure. always. And folks, we will see you next time, December 6th at the Yokohama Arena, the K1 World Grand Prix Heavyweights Final. Until then, Masato, you're the man. Good night.